Hey guys, it's Katie Did here, and I am back with another review for you guys today. Today's review is going to be of the B Canvas Skin Paper, and as you can see here, I have four sheets. This is actually a 9 by 12 sheet of paper that I have cut up into four pieces. I reached out to B Paper Company, and they generously decided to give us some things for review, and this is one of the things. I've already reviewed their artist marker paper, and I will leave a card up here so you can check it out later. As it says here, this is the B Canvas Skin Series 1018. It's 112 pounds or 183 GSM. And it also is very nicely textured. I cannot wait to see how this holds up um, to acrylic paint. You can also oil paint on this, I'm pretty sure anyway, but um, at the moment I don't have the right oil painting supplies because I'm waiting for some stuff to come in, so I won't be able to oil paint, but um, I can show you acrylics, so let's get into that. So canvas skin is the original textured canvas paper that replicates the surface of cotton canvas. It's excellent for its use as a practice pad with acrylics, oils, charcoal, crayon, and even oil pastels, which is pretty awesome. It's really durable and heavyweight. It stands up to even watered down acrylic. Um, later on in the video you'll see that I have used some watered down acrylic and it does warp a little bit with the water but it will dry flat like I didn't even put it between anything and it's completely flat. It has a very smooth yet textured surface and the paint spreads really nicely onto the surface with no problems, no weird like breakage. I don't know. I, I don't like that with normal textured canvas but I really like this. It doesn't bleed through to the back. I even use a lot of water. I would not recommend using a lot of water with acrylics unless you are using something like a paper pad. Then you can because it'll stick, like it'll absorb. But other than that, like if you're using an actual canvas or if you're using you know, like a canvas panel, I wouldn't do that because your paint will eventually flake off. I used ink on this paper and there was no feathering of the ink. It's the best canvas paper I have ever had the pleasure of using. I really enjoyed this. I have had quite a few pieces of oil paint, acrylic paint, canvas paper, um, and I've really been happy with this. That's another reason why I cut it into four pieces, because I wanted to savor as much as I can with it, because I only had the one piece. But I do plan on going out and maybe buying this, because I really like it. Speaking of which, if you would like to purchase this, I will leave a link down in the description below. I will also leave a link to B Paper's website, because they're awesome. So this comes in a 9x12 and 11x14 tape bound pads. Now about the picture. I was actually inspired by the company because they're called Bee Paper, so I decided to draw a girl eating honey, which I know is kind of random, but I thought it was cute, so I went with that and I wanted her to have something in front of her, so I put a random bookcase. It's kind of all randomly put together, but I think it's cute, so. It's just a simple little painting to show what this paper is capable of, and I do apologize that I was not able to use oil paint. Uh, I guess I could have used crayon charcoal and oil pastel, but I don't know. I felt like the acrylic could show it, because acrylic is pretty heavy as well on, like, canvas and stuff like that, so I figured it was a good kind of middle point to where, yeah, you could see everything that was going to go on and how it would have worked with just general applying things. Um, I will tell you with oil paint, it's probably going to be a little bit heavier, so I would maybe be sparing with as many layers. Um, I wouldn't put as many layers, but I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you would like me to review next. You can follow me on DeviantArt, Pager World, Twitter, and Instagram. All of my links are down in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe. I put out a new video every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and two new videos each on Tuesday and Friday. And until next time, bye!